Love, marriage, commitment, finding it, and keeping it, it's a huge challenge. Two couples who are married over six decades share their tips. Also, I met a couple who married when he was 93. Now he's almost 100, and they have never been happier. They're proof that it's never too late to find love. So this is my mom and dad, Mary and Tom. I'm here with Bob and Fran and Maddox. How long have you been married, Mom? 61 years. You guys have been married 65 years. 65 years. Right. <laughs> this month. Right. That's a long time, right? It seemed like it, yeah. <laughs> Longer than a lot of people have been alive. <laughs> Don't say that. And what would you say to see? I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> well, I think the most important thing in a marriage, for the bedrock of the marriage, is having shared goals and values. Well, I think basically, uh, it sounds corny, but we were in love. Right. I'll guarantee you in 62 years we fussed with one another about one thing and then another, but in retrospect, they don't amount to anything because I can't remember any of them. I really can't. I can't remember them all. <laughs> when you had those lows, there was no other option but to work it out. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, you're right. You're right. Yeah, but they were pretty minor things too. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Just so sweet. He just Giving her a little kiss on the forehead or something he like that. He does. He just but does. But it's, it's invariably not some great planning involved. <laughs> you're a genie. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. I'm a nerd. Almost six years. And how old are you? I'm 99. 99. So you turned him down though. How did you finally, several times he called you, what finally happened? Phone rings one more time. You just have to say yes. Right. <laughs> I think I'm happier than I've ever been in any of my marriages. Fell in love on the phone. Yeah. How do you do that?